I can't have anyone. <laughs> Shame on you, bro. So what I've called in... What do you mean? You're, you're not allowed your manager, Shenro. That is correct. That's, that's, correct. That's, that's correct. But you didn't say I couldn't have any manager. This match is a tables match, and I'm not taking anything for granted. I'm not going to let myself be in a dangerous situation like a singles table match against Simonelli all by myself. No, I have called in some help. Come on out, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Welcome, Mr. Stroll. Welcome to the side of the greatest professional wrestler to ever walk planet Earth. Now play my music. Ladies and gentlemen, coming from the red corner, the nation's champion, Tate Makers! And coming from the new corner, the rubber wrestling champion, Steve Manelli! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rumble Wrestling. Look how it's an absolute flyer of a start here. I'm Aaron Nix. It's a tables match between Sid Minnelli and Tate Mayfairs. And as you've seen, Tate Mayfairs may have his manager, Shen Wu, banned from ringside. But you can see him right there. The masked skull has stepped up as an admirable replacement, at least in the eyes of Tate Mayfairs, who's got the jump early here on Sid Minnelli. Absolutely ferocious start, as you'd expect, between two of the most physical and, frankly, most viable opponents in the history of this company. The, dare I say, the prestige and history of Rumble has been built off the back of Tate Mayfair's and Sid Manelli. And they may have faced each other hundreds of times, but they still hate each other's guts every single time. If anything, it intensifies, and it's all built to a head here at the Kemsley Community Centre. In a tables match, and there's the masked skull there. Already showing some interference. Referee Dave Macro in charge of this match. Tate Mayfair misses the flying back elbow attempt. And now Sid Benelli is going to look to try and build some momentum. Counter by Tate Mayfair. But Sid ducks a close eye, hits him with a panted flying shoulder block. And as you can see, Sid Minnelli, as he does every single time, looks to draw upon the energy of the sold-out Rumble audience. And we are pretty much always sold-out. Close line from Tate Mayfair. Speaking of sold-out, he'll sell his soul to anybody to become and remain champion in any company, much less the best in Rumble Wrestling. New Nation's champion Tate Mayfair is looking for his panted fisherman's inverted fisherman's buster and a counter and Tate Mayfair goes flying right over the top rope. Simonelli pulled the ropes down and got one over on the All Nations champion and the masked goal checking on Tate Mayfair's big opportunity for the masked goal to show his loyalty here as he provides yet yeah, again another distraction and Tate Mayfair's he's going to take full advantage remember no disqualifications no count outs no nothing the only way to win this match is to drive your opponent through a table until that happens this match could go on forever and as you know Sid Minnelli and Tate Mayfair's will fight forever Marskol getting some licks in and Dave Macro can admonish him all he wants but the bottom line is it's no disqualification and he's solely there just to count a pinfall look out and Sid Minnelli just stuffed Tate Mayfair's face 
into the wall and now the mask goal looks to be getting the same treatment even the lights have been turned on and now the darkness into the light comes this rivalry once again between Simpinelli and Tate Mayfairs and Tate Mayfairs I think he's going to clobber Simpinelli with that chair Simpinelli's looking at a suplex Tate Mayfairs on the hardwood floor but the mask goal is having none of that and these these two the visceral hatred mocking Sid Minnelli. Looking for a big right hand right on the chin. So what you like about Tate Mayfair's a championship boxer, a pedigree, like a prize fighter. And now a scoop slam on a hardwood floor to Sid Minnelli. That's going to nod up the back. You could do some serious damage to a man's spine. There's no give out there. Dave Macro, quite literally just checking on Sid Benini, but like I said, not a great deal that can be done, frankly. This match, this is what makes it so dangerous. Yeah, the table is the focal point, but the bottom line is it's essentially a street fight with furniture. That's what it is. And Sid Benini is rather gingerly making his way back to the ring. This crowd imploring him to do so, but... Meanwhile, Tate Mayfair is having plenty of time to get himself prepped and ready. And as you can see, the background of the table has been set. The centerpiece of this violent affair between the two men and the mask score. Once again, paying dividends. Simonelli essentially in a handicap match right now. Tate Mayfair is all his skill, all his talent. And Simonelli puts on a break to canvas with an elbow. And Stuffs Tate Mayfair's face into that table and now the mask goal's going to get some and it looks like Simonetti's building some momentum but for everything that Tate Mayfair does and for everything that people despise about him there is no denying the exceptional talents and the abilities of Tate Mayfair it's one of the best in the world it's just a damn shame that so many individuals have stuck their nose in where it doesn't belong Tate Mayfair knows damn well he can pretty much dispatch anyone by himself, but he chooses not to, and a back body drop countered off the pile driver. And oh my God, and Tate Mayfair's back just drove right into the floor, and I suppose turnabout is fair play, and the Mars Skull trying to get some feeding back into that spot, and that is a nasty collision. There I say even worse than what happened to Sid Minnelli, and now Sid Minnelli is going to take full advantage, and rightfully so, but Tate Mayfair is having a counter again. Man has a gas tank like no other. Our camera crew is in serious jeopardy here. The mask goal taking advantage as well. And it looks like Tate Mayfair is going to continue to build momentum. Now, as you can see, precariously perched on the apron is Sid Benelli. This tables match. Oh, man. And the mask goal wiped out once again. Sid Benelli, the ultimate survival artist of professional wrestling he's had to be he's got a bullseye on his chest and that bullseye is the rumble wrestling championship that's not being defended tonight nonetheless the pride the distinction the honor of what simonelli stands for is he just literally sends moscow packing to the other end of the hall simonelli prides himself of doing things the right way and I think Tate Mayfair has realised that finally this is going to be a one-on-one -on -one match up and he's begging off on Sid Minnelli and Sid looking to roar his approval through this audience he needs to pay more attention to Tate Mayfair frankly because that is one dangerous man in the ring and now does so Irish whip into the corner Sid Minnelli comes in with a big monkey flip out of the corner Sid's Tate Mayfair's packing now, kick to the midsection and a face buster by Sid Minnelli. He's really building momentum now. And you can see what happened as soon as the bar skull was taken out of the equation. He's back at ringside. Frankly, I'm surprised that he hasn't just chosen to stay in the ring for the entire contest. But obviously Tate Mayfair's directing traffic, looking for a power slam potentially. Or a, oh, looking for a snake eyes, I think, off the top rope. But Sid Minnelli able to escape and now look at the said Tate Mayfair's over the top and through that table and the table that they placed themselves earlier could be their undoing and Sid Minnelli knows as soon as he goes through that table Tate Mayfair's if he does so then Sid Minnelli will be the winner kicked in the midsection another one oh man and look out Tate Mayfair's precarious absolutely precarious and the mask skull 
trying to move the table away for Tate Mayfair, who's asking him to get in the ring and essentially help him. Never mind moving the furniture, Sunshine. Save me from going through this table is essentially what Tate Mayfair is saying. And now Sid Benelli and Tate Mayfair both find themselves in a very dangerous position. If you slip off of there, you might go through the table. You might just fall crashing to the floor. Oh, no. I think Tate Mayfair is thinking powerbomb, but Sid Benelli is able to counter. Double kick by Tate Mayfair is trying to create some separation. And still, both of these men on the ring apron. The hardest part of the ring. The most dangerous area to be if you're a wrestler. You lose your foot in. It could be game over. It could be career over. Depending on the trajectory of how you land. And both men looking a little wobbly. But dare I say, Tate Mayfair is looking worse for wear here. Mark Skull is just kind of lurking there. Oh, man. A kick right below the belt nothing fancy about that but it is effective and a reminder that it is no disqualification referee Dave Macro pretty much useless other than to make the call and the Marskull is just lurking there almost directing traffic just ensuring I guess that Tate Mayfair has the upper hand at all times and Sebenetti looks to be in extremely bad shape right now I think Tate Mayfair's got a bulldog it through and oh look out Sid counters sends him over to the ring post and just stuffs his foot on the mask goal anything he can do to create some separation for this idiot at ringside this sicker fan and Tate Mayfair's inadvertently sent into the mask goal his manager for the evening I take Mayfair's has been a thorn in the side of many, but none more so than Sid Manetti. This storied rivalry, which quite literally Rumble has built off the back of their ferocity and their animosity towards each other. And again, the Moscow interfering. Nothing he can do about it, but stuff Sid Manetti back into the ring. Essentially serving him up on a platter for Tate Mayfair's, who's showing off the All Nations Championship. Sibinelli ducks under. Oh, ducks under again. And both men are oh, flying crossbody. Both men collided. I think Tate Mayfair's probably got the better of that. Nonetheless, both men are down. And no particular idea why Dave Macro is counting. Because the bottom line is there are no count outs. Uh, you can count all you want, pal. But it means literally nothing. Right, this match will continue until somebody goes through that table. What, a, what the hell just happened there? Another Mars Skull out of nowhere has appeared and taken the original Mars Skull. And, well, I mean, you can see it plain as days. He's wiped out the Mars Skull and it looks like he's playing possum and has replaced him. And meanwhile, Tate Mayface is looking for the Skull. I think, well, yeah, Tate Mayface has no idea at all. Look out and... Tate Mayfair is giving him the fuzz. I think Tate Mayfair is none the wiser to the fact that this skull that he brought, or at least the mask skull that he brought to ringside with him in the first place, has now been replaced. No clue what's going on there. You never know when the mask skulls are in town anyway. Now both of these men trading blows with each other. The ferocity and anger, as I've mentioned, the animosity boiling over every single time they see each other. And now Tate Mayfair is raking the eyes of Sibonelli, looking to take an advantage and a take trigger. That beautiful rising knee lift right in the chin. And now a thumbs up to Mars Skull. Number two could be any number, frankly, at this point. Now Sibonelli and another Tate trigger right in the corner. We see Tate wipe out so many individuals. The likes of Joe Lando, Danny Black and more with that vicious flying knee. And now looking to place the table. Oh, he's bringing the table into the ring. I think he wants to make a statement that everybody here can see in the sold out Kemsley Community Centre. And this other mask goal, it looks like he's going to be uh, helping Tate Mayfair's regardless on his journey. No particular reason why this mask goal felt the need to wipe out the other, but it is what it is. I take Mayfair's. And this skull are directing traffic, and it looks like Sid Minnelli is in serious trouble here. And the mask goal, I think, is going to lift Sid Minnelli up and put him on Tate Mayfair's shoulders. Bit of hesitant, or apparently not. And looks like the mask goal is hesitating a little bit. Not entirely sure what to do here. 
He just lets Sid Minnelli go. Now he's just waving his fingers at Tate Mason. Oi, what the hell are you doing? Oh, man, a slap to the face. You're going to do your job, you little mucker. Oh, my God, the mask got. Wait a minute. This mask got just slapped. Tate Mayfair's in the face and then sends him off the ropes. And Sid Benelli just hit the cutter. And Tate Mayfair's has gone through the table. We have a winner. Tate Mayfair's through the table. The Rumble Wrestling Champion, courtesy of a big assist, hits a huge cutter right through the table. And you can see the damage that he's done. Tate Mayfair's has been beaten here in Kemsley and there's the other mascot the first mascot who's a little bit more dazed and none the wiser as to what the hell is going on it looks like Simonelli has an unlikely ally in a mascot of all the people oh and Tate Mayfair he's irate absolutely irate it looks like the mascot that he was using is headed for the high road Tate Mayfair is asking, who the hell are you? Oh, wait a minute, I think this he's going to de- this skull is going to de-mask it. Oh my God, Danny Black! The contract in the case holder, Danny Black is here. Oh my, oh my God, and a GTS to Tate Mayfair's. Danny Black has just knocked out Tate Mayfair's and now, oh look how Tate Mayfair's is out cold. Danny Black is going to cash in his contract in the case. He's cashing it in right now. Yes, indeed, he's cashing it in. Well, Danny Black is cashing in. The bell has rung. We have an All Nations Championship matchup right now. Danny Black is looking to gain a measure of edge right here. Oh, Tate Mayfair is able to escape under the bottom rope. And Tate Mayfair is out in the crowd right now. And Danny Black just staring a hole through him. Well, that is a pretty succinct message. Get back here and face me for the All-Nation Championship. The bell did ring, so Danny Black is entitled. Danny Black is entitled to a matchup for the All-Nation Championship. He is cashed in that briefcase. Well, the bell... The bell is wrong with Tate Mayfair's. I don't think he's having anything. And Tate Mayfair's, Tate Mayfair's, he's taking the All Nation Championship and hightailing it out of here. And oh no, and look out, and look out, and Danny Black is giving chase.